Hi everybody, this is Janet Wright and this is an energy healing recap video where I tell you everything I did in today's group energy healing. Today's date is Friday, February 2nd, 2018 and that's my cat Smokey who is just walking all around me. Um, so uh, in these energy healing recap videos, I tell you everything that I did in today's group energy healing, why I did it, why I needed to, why these participants needed these healing techniques and how you can do these techniques on yourself in your, as you watch the video and also if you like them in your daily self healing. So um, today is Friday, so it's the first of the set of three healings. These healings are called triplet group energy healings because they're a set of three energy healings in the course of five days. So today was the first one, it's Friday, and then there's the Sunday healing and the Tuesday healing. And um, just some facts about this triplet set. It is for eight zero eighty participants. <sighs> Thanks everybody for jumping in. That uh, that's uh, it's it's fun to think of that that eighty people are benefiting from these healings this time and learning the techniques. Um, a lot of them are learning the techniques, and uh, everybody's benefiting. So that's exciting. Um, so there are eighty participants for this whole triplet set of three healings and these participants are located in seven different countries which is cool and uh, including eight kids so hi kids and um, the uh, ages of the kids are aged 4 through 16 so the theme of this set is flow and flow awareness energy flow and awareness of your own energy so that involves chakras, energy centers called chakras, that involves your aura, your energy field all around you. It involves your grounding, your connection to the center of the earth, which not only stabilizes you, but helps you let go and release. Um, but as usual, each healing supports that theme in a really unique way as I look at the participants and what they actually need. So, you know, I made a list of all, as I was preparing, uh, you know, I made a list of all the things that I did want to help people with in this healing set about, you know, energy flow and awareness of your energy. Um, and then I looked at the participants and where they're at right now, the 80 participants and, you know, the state of their energy. And, you know, as you can imagine, 80 different people, um, you know, in a lot of different... <laughs> A lot of different uh, states of, of flow and not flow, right? <laughs> so, um, so I really like today because uh, today's theme is res restoring spirit level confidence and identity. And the reason I did that is because I saw that's what everybody needed um, in order to make the most of this set and ultimately receive the most benefits to their flow and the awareness of their own energy flow. So, um, of course I will explain more in this set of three videos that I'm releasing today. These, this uh, energy healing recap uh, will actually have a part one, a part two, and a part three. So this part one you're hearing right now is the intro. And it's intro to concepts, like I'm saying right now, um, you know, the, the why, why I did what I did in today's healing. But then uh, this video will also uh, have the start of the healing, the first three steps that I did in today's healing. And those are essentially like clean out, uh, unblocking, uh, centering kind of steps that I did. And uh, the angels wanted me to include that in this intro video today. So. I think that's interesting, you know, I think maybe one reason for that is that, um, say newbies or people who are just busy, uh, they want to know, you know, what the theme of this healing was and they want to, uh, perhaps, you know, do some of the flow work, um, 
that ha that the healing had in order to you know keep their flow going after this healing um so so anyway that's this video and then the uh the second video will have steps four through six from today's healing and that is more um about the theme of it which is the confidence the spirit level confidence um and that actually involved the astral body healing. Uh, now, okay, you have your physical body, right? And then you have your spirit body, but you are a spirit. You are an eternal spirit. You've had past lives, you're in this life. So your physical body is important, very important, um, and the flow of it and the energy centers of it but you, as a spirit, you have an astral body or a spirit body that when you are fully present, fits in to your physical body so that you are fully present. You are centered, you are at your best. So, um, you know, in these healings, sometimes, you know, I'll be healing more the physical body's energy centers. Sometimes I'll be healing more the spirit body's energy centers. So today's healing was doing both uh, because the the part one the the steps one two and three uh, are for both and then but the uh, the second video and the third video well the second video is definitely more the astral body healing the spirit body you as a spirit um, and then um, I will explain more about why I did that in that video but um, maybe just a, a quick preview is just that I saw what everybody needed today was um, it's like okay if this is your body right and this is your spirit right okay so you're this is really truly you but this is super important and sacred your physical body so um as well you know you're sacred but your body is sacred too because <laughs> it helps you fully experience this lifetime which is you know the whole point of life to experience so um so even the most, you know, I would say skilled, experienced participants, um, there each of them had levels of ambivalence as a spirit at that seventh chakra level, which seventh chakra, the energy center in the top of the head, it has to do with certainty, confidence, inspiration, goals, um, identity, and when it has energy blocks or it needs healing, it's a little off, um, you instead experience ambivalence or confusion. So, uh, or maybe like a failure complex or something, you know, you just, it's, you know, you just don't have your confidence, right? And so on subtle levels, on a spirit level, um, in that energy center in the top of the head of the spirit body, many people did have, you know, kind of like, well, I want to be present, but on the other hand, eh, I'm kind of distracted by this and this and this, or oh, I don't know if I believe in myself, or I don't really know what I should do with my life, blah, 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 blah. You know, and that's going to really impact how present you can be and how much flow you will have, you know, of your body, mind, spirit. Um, so that's what we fixed in today's healing, basically. We fixed the seventh chakra of the spirit body um, so that and that seventh layer that goes with it the outermost layer of the spirit body aura so that it's nice and purple and gorgeous and flowing uh, full of confidence and a really coherent uh, authentic identity energy that's true to you um, and then you know I helped clear the connections so that you can kind of come in more and more and more in the next two days uh, between now and the Sunday healing yay so um so anyway some of that astral body stuff uh, is in the second video and then some of it is in the third video um, the uh, let's see the third video oh yeah the identity stuff so the confidence stuff is in the second video of the astral body but then still astral body but unburdening and healing people's identity was in the third video and that was really interesting everybody needed it for different reasons but um part of it was kind of like that parents you can pick up a little too much from most parents around you know who are you who should you be in this life you know 
and uh, that really muddles your own identity energy. So I will explain more, of course, in the part three video and explain the healing steps. Um, so if you chose to, you could do more of that on your own. Yay! Um, so that's it. Those are the three videos. Um, and again, today's theme is restoring spirit level confidence and identity. Yay! So um, now we can just do... Um, to finish up this video, we're going to actually do the starting steps of the healing. So, um, oh, and this healing today was 23 minutes long. Um, and you know, you think 23 minutes is a short amount of time, but I can do a lot on this level when I work with people's subconscious part of their spirit and their angels. So. Um, okay, so step one uh, should not be a shock if you do these videos. Uh, it's redoing the gold energy aura buffer zones, which it's funny when I hear these videos, I always like that as a reminder to redo your buffer zones. So for newbies, if, you, if you're if you a pure newbie, you, you don't know that video, it's called gold energy aura buffer zones and they really recommend it. Um, Really, if you only watch one other video of mine in your whole life, that would probably be the one that you'd benefit the most from at this point. Gold Energy Aura Buffer Zones. And it's 16 minutes long. In that video, you repair your aura and you make, you learn about and create the Gold Energy Aura Buffer Zones, which are six feet all around. They attach to the edge of your aura and they're buffer zones, they're buffers. And they're full of gold universal healing energy, which is fabulous very uh i don't know it's it feels good and it, it's great you know but it's it's outside of your energy field but it's a it's a protection for you so then if people throw energy at you or when perhaps not if <laughs> but um when or if people throw energy at you then it it damages the buffer but not your aura and then you just know to in an instant just redo your buffer zones so that it's a continually recharged and flowing you know, buffer for you. Um, so anyway, that was step one. I'm not going to walk you through that because that video does a great job. Um, gold energy or buffer zones. Step two uh, was is also very well represented in videos. Um, so I will do a very small version of it. Uh, but what you could do if you want a nice version, um, just look up DGS. I will put DGS as a as an abbreviation in the Divine Gold Sandstorm videos. Um, anyway, it's a really great clearing process. It, it's easy. It's centering, but um, you know it gets a lot out. So that that helps with everything. It just helps with your flow. It's great. Um, so anyway, we're gonna do a mini version of that now. Um, hmm. you know what we did uh, I think what would make more sense though if, if we did this one little step first because we did do we kind of mixed the two and I think for teaching sake you know just for clarity let's do one thing at a time so that I don't blow newbies minds and, and my own mind later when I'm trying to follow it and feed cats or whatever <laughs> um so anyway, uh, we did in two different parts of the ceiling, at least, we had your angels clear out planetary darkness energy from your body, mind, and spirit. So planetary darkness energy is sort of a wordy way of saying negative spirits. Um, and negative spirits is not something to be afraid of at all. You know, um, it's like, you know, you brush your teeth because, you know, to keep them clean. It's like you need to do this to keep your energy field cleaner, you know, cleaner and cleaner and clearer. So it's just for you, you know. And uh, so that's simple. I do have a, a like, I think it's a three minute walkthrough in the quick techniques playlist of just this process. So if you try it now and you really like it. You could look, and then you like walkthroughs, you could look for that little three minute video in the Quick Techniques playlist. But anyway, it's angel clean out of planetary darkness energy. So you just ask your angels. Um, I like closing my mind, closing my eyes just because it helps me focus and relax a little. So, um, but either way, um, and just say in your mind, angels, 
can you help me? Can you clear out planetary darkness energy from my body, mind, and spirit? So, you know, even if you didn't know you have angels, it still works. Just they know they're there, you know, just in your mind, angels. And then your personal angels will know that you're asking them something. And then just say, please clean out planetary darkness energy from my body, mind, and spirit. And that just starts a lot of clearing and releasing. So you can just breathe, breathe deeply. You can think about letting go. You know, I can let go. I can let go of whatever's bothering me. All right. So we did uh, Divine Gold Sandstorm with tricolor earth energy soak so like i said we're going to do mini uh versions of all this so but anyway there are two different walkthroughs one's a 20 minute walkthrough and one's a 13 minute walkthrough uh with both dgs and the title um that are really nice walkthroughs of using divine gold sandstorm with the earth energy soak at the same time um so anyway first um just we're just gonna do the Let's just do the red color. Um, although in the healing we did all three colors. So think of how wide your grounding is. Um, your aura, I'm gonna demonstrate on a little doll. Your aura is all the way around you, right? And so in front and behind you too. So your grounding, I feel that um, in my experience, it works best if it's a very wide grounding, as wide as your whole aura. So just with your mind, create a connection that goes up high, like this high. Um, to help your third chakra, which is for productivity, getting things done, also having good sleep. So just make it that high and then all the way down to the center of the earth. So the core of the planet earth, right? So just imagine a big red, it could be like a waterfall. That would be nice because it flows downward. Um, but just a big red wide connection, it stays wide. It flows all the way down to the center of the earth. Create that just with your imagination, with your intention, because that is how you create on a spirit level. Okay, so that's red grounding. And then bring up earth energy from the center of the earth and bring up an extra amount that you wouldn't maybe naturally bring up. Bring the amount up that uh, you would have around you if you're in like a beautiful forest um, of earth energy. So just red earth energy, just let it come flow up your grounding because Normally, grounding, it has flow two ways. You release energy, you're letting go down your grounding, down to the center of the earth. But with, in this case, and you know, really always to some extent, you're bringing up earth energy with your grounding. So just up, 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 bring up a whole extra amount of red earth energy and just soak in it. Soak the bottom of your aura, down here below your body. Soak the top of your aura up here, all the sides, soak your whole body, your organs, your bones, everything in the red earth energy. Just soak in that. And then, I always like that. And then divine gold sandstorm is you create these little bits of gold light, gold healing energy, and you spin them all around your aura and your grounding and inside your body, just everywhere. And you can do it uh, just without making a little copy of yourself out in front of you. Although I do feel that to direct it more uh, specifically to certain areas, um, it's nice to have a copy of yourself out in front of you. So you just make this little mini copy of you out in front of you, your little aura, your little, your body, your wonderful body inside your wonderful aura, and then your grounding. And it's a miniature copy. So like, here's the center of the earth. Here's you, you know, greatly reduced for your convenience. And just, you know, have the gold, little flecks of gold healing energy spin around like a sandstorm and through your aura, you know, up and down your spine to unblock all your chakras and through your grounding, that long flowing connection down to the center of the earth. Just use your mini copy and just make sure, just become aware of like more clogged and blocked parts of your grounding that are healthy and gentle for you to unblock right now and just 
you know, let the gold divine sandstorm just spin around those blocked areas and unblock them so that the energy finishes releasing all the way down to the center of the earth and it's absorbed by the center of the earth. And that's a nice, beautiful chain reaction then because then your chakras can release better, your aura flows better, you think better, you're more present. It's really, really nice. Um, okay, so while I was doing that in the healing for everybody, um, and again, that's called Divine Gold Sandstorm with the earth energy soak going, right? Um, I healed people's aura, uh, particularly the outer part of the aura. Um, like you can get energy damage, even if you use your buffer zones, your aura buffer zones for protection, uh, every once in a while, you know, maybe you didn't recreate them often enough that day. And so some, some damage happens. Um, so a lot of times people have damage like here in the outer layers or up here. So seventh layer is the energy, is the aura layer generated by this top chakra, seventh chakra, right? And so that back here, I healed, well, really I healed seven, six, five, and four. So this whole back outer part of your aura behind your head, I healed a lot and repaired it a lot and up here, and I did this for both auras. Um, for those of you who that doesn't blow your mind to think about, if it blows your mind to think about that, don't bother. But, um, you know, like we said, you have your physical body and it has its own aura, and then you have your spirit, you, your spirit, and you have your own aura. So um, anyway, I did both, I repaired both in the back here. Um, and even if you, like I said, even if you do use your gold energy or buffer zones, if you don't check back here, you might have some old damage that you never really fully healed. So uh, how I like to notice it is if it, is it purple or is it not purple? Is it flowing enough or is it not flowing enough? Because when you're into, when you use your intuition, it's easier to have like yes or no, A or B type options for your intuition. And because, you know, everyone imagines that I'm like super psychic all knowing, you know, which is not true. I mean, I, yeah, I, I've got some serious skills because I've practiced a lot and you know, whatever over many lifetimes, but, but I just use practical techniques. I mean, you know, it's like if your seventh layer is damaged, it's gonna to be too narrow or it's gonna be ripped up and it's gonna be like blackened or it's gonna have white in it. It's not gonna be like this gorgeous flowy purple. So you just use your intuition for that outermost layer. You know, is the outermost layer gorgeous flowy purple or not? You know, so you just make a big copy out in front of you of just that seventh layer in the back. You know, and this I think is a really good reason to use copies out in front of you. You know, because um, I do appreciate video comments when people, you know, like they're thinking, you know, oh, well, should I do it this way or this way? And they're not sure. And then they post a comment. You know, I, I think that's helpful for everybody because um, I answer the comments and then people have more information to go on. Um, so, but I think this is a good reason to use copies out in front of you because I think if you're just imagining your energy field, you're probably going to miss damage back there. Um, but if you have a copy out in front of you, you know, a mini copy of just this seventh layer back here, you, you know, you can just imagine like, okay, is it too narrow? You can compare it to the front of your aura. You know, you could just use your intuition and comb through it. And does it feel like sort of stuck? You know, mine, um, you know, obviously I work on my energy a lot, you know, particularly on healing days, but on the days leading up to it as well. Well, every day too. <laughs> But, you know, back here in my seventh layer, you know, I have, um, you know, it is flowing, but I have like sort of black rocks back here, you know, and that is some stress damage um, from, you know, people throwing energy at the back there at some point today. So I'm just going to use gold light and melt away the rocks because even if the you know, the, the energy that was thrown didn't get all the way through my gold energy aura buffer zone. It does kind of bang at the back of your aura and it can kind of stress it out. So anyway, just lots of gold light so that you get it more flowing. And if you sense that there's a big rip, you know, that's cool that, I mean, it's not cool that you have a big rip, but it is cool that you sensed it, you know, so good job. 
and uh, just use gold like lots of it from your hands or from like a garden hose and you want to wash out the whole ripped area you know and just wash it out wash it out I actually have a where is that Oh, it's my physical body or I have on the side, like not in the center, on the side. I have a little rip. Um, so anyway, I'm just washing it out with my gold garden hose and my hands. And the more you clean it out, the more it just mends up. There we go. And it'll just kind of grow back. So you just sense that, you know, is it purple? Is it flowing? Or does it have little rip parts? Is it not flowing enough? And you heal it so that's what I did in the healing and at the same time you know I I help people bring up the orange earth energy um, and soak in it and the yellow earth energy and soak in it but for the sake of time in this video we won't go through all the colors um, then we did a step uh, that I won't walk you through very much uh but because there is a good and short pretty much to the point uh video on it uh called sticky gold wax on seven chakras uh and that is in the quick techniques playlist and again sticky gold wax it's a very uh fun and easy technique where you just imagine your a copy of your chakras out in front of you and you just use this gold wax like uh, like candle wax that's warm and you kind of melt it all around all the surfaces and your intention is that it's going to uh, melt and sort of attach itself to anything that is healthy and gentle for you to clear right now so the blockages the energy cords anything that is really good for you to release right now and so um you just so if, if you want this micro sample, just imagine your copy of your chakras out in front of your seven chakras and that video walkthrough is better. Okay, so if this is too fast, then do the video walkthrough. And you just imagine the seven chakras and use the sticky gold wax, put it all around them. And then you just kind of let the wax kind of harden a little and then you split it down the sides I like. And then I just take one half off and give it to the angel. Say, angels, can you please recycle this? And then I take the other half off and say, angels, can you please recycle that? And so that unblocks your chakras really actually very effectively. It's funny. And it's all of them at once. And so we did that in the healing. I did that three times each for the physical body chakras and three times for the spirit body chakras. I wanted to be very thorough because this healing set is all about flow. And so obviously, you know, gotta get everything unblocked so that the flow is stronger. Um, a chakra will generate more energy. The more you unblock it, the more you heal it, it just works better as a generator. So it creates more energy, which gives you more volume, which makes each aura layer thicker and basically stronger because then it's like washing out the blockages all the time with all the energy. So, um, so anyway, that was step three, sticky gold wax, three times on the physical body chakras and three times on the astral body chakras. And uh, then after that, that was about at the 10 minute mark was like halfway through that process. So this was a lot of uh, what the healing was about was this, uh, you know, getting the flow going. Um, so then uh, we just did one soak of the red earth energy. So again, bring up your red earth energy. If you feel like it went down automatically, just bring up red earth energy again and soak in it. And then I did divine gold sandstorm, you know, in a, you can do it in a copy out in front of you and just make sure you're grounding, you know, use the little flex of gold light and unblock your grounding and whoosh everything down your grounding. So it's all the way down to the center of the earth that you need to release. Anyway, so that's what I did. You can do the top and the bottom of your aura at the same time, like comb through them with the divine gold sandstorm. Cause I wanted, you know, that's a lot of unblocking, you know, sticky gold wax three times on the physical and three times on the astral. So, you know, I needed to help people make sure they're releasing it all. Cause you don't want to just like unearth these energy blocks and then they don't fully release cause then people don't feel right. Okay, so that's it for this video, the intro video and the first three steps of today's healing. So great job uh, for listening and being interested in your own healing. Woohoo! 
um, the next video um, will have in the title spirit level confidence and um, it will be of course linked at the end of this video uh, so I will see you in the next video bye